Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors coming to you today from the upstate. Here in South Carolina, we're doing trout fishing. Many people don't think that trout exist in South Carolina. Guess what? Several hundred thousand trout are stocked each year by the state of South Carolina. Today we're coming to you from the Chaga River. We're about 40 minutes from Clemson right now. You know, anywhere in the upstate, it's an easy drive to come up here and have a chance to catch rainbow trout, brook trout, and brown trout, all like we're doing today with Potsky Balls of Fire salmon eggs and fire dye worms. We're gonna show you that even if you don't know what you're doing, you can come up here for the first time, have the right bait, and catch a lot of fish. Well, this is my first time fishing here in South Carolina today. And uh, we're just gonna show you how easy it is to come out here and you know, find, locate these fish. We're just looking for these deep holes. Water's fairly low right now. They've, I guess they've had a lack of rain. So uh, we're just gonna look for these deep holes and the current seams, the tail outs that run through them, you know, where trout tend to congregate and we're just gonna keep moving, keep searching and uh, until we find them. Hooked up. That's Is that a rainbow? Yeah. <laughs> it's the start. Oh yeah, dude. Got him? Oh yeah, dude, nice one. Oh yeah. Better anyway. <laughs> That's a nice fish right That's there. Brook trout. Bobber didn't make it five seconds through the run, and this nice brook he grabbed it. So, I don't know, he's about nah, 11 12 inches or so. Nice fish. With a hook jaw. Yeah, hook jaw. Nice fish, just getting started. We're just using a real basic rig here, guys. We just have an ultralight, ultralight ugly stick set for four to 10 pound line. Uh, what we have for main line is six pound mono. And uh, we're using, we're float fishing today. So I'm just using, you know, a real small bobber. And I like to use, you know, this is a Drennan, but I mean, you can use, you can use any kind of bobber. You don't have to be too particular about it. So I'll use six pound mono because the model will float on top of the water when you're drifting a bobber and it'll just allow you to maintain a nice natural drift throughout the hole. Then right below my bobber, you know, I'll have a couple split shot that, and that'll just weight the bobber down so it sits nice and vertical. And then I'll have a small black barrel swivel. Then I'll just put BB shot, black BB shot, that'll blend right in with the water. I just have an interval of about four right there and three and about 10 inches to my hook with a chartreuse fire dyed worm. We're set about four foot deep in this run. I mean, we're just we're just always changing depths, changing baits constantly. Oh, there's a bite right there. Got him. Fish. Decent one. That's a rainbow. rainbow. Better than the other rainbows. Yeah. Nothing too big, but we're getting them. This seems to be about the average size of the fish in this river thus far. So we're getting them. We're getting bites every cast. Hey everybody, today we're coming to you from the beautiful mountains of South Carolina. Here in the upstate, we're only about an hour from Anderson right now. Uh, we're on the Chaga River, maybe about 45 minutes from Clemson. Uh, if you're thinking of Atlanta, you're maybe two hours from Atlanta. Uh, and this has been a real different year in South Carolina. This is the fall, late fall of 2016. And it hasn't rained in almost 60 days up here, which is really extreme drought for this area. Uh, fortunately, the Chaga River, as you can see in front of you, is flowing low, but it's got enough water to continue to allow the state to stock beautiful rainbow, brook, and brown trout. But uh, we've hooked over a dozen fish just in the first hole. Now, for all you locals, 
We're fishing just below Cassidy Bridge. Uh, we're about uh, 100 yards up from Cassidy Bridge Campground right now. The barometer has changed a ton, and as you can see, boom, we got a fish on, on a chartreuse fire dye worm. Poor, baby. And uh, it's looking like it's gonna be a rainbow from here, but uh, come down here, even if you don't know what you're doing, if you got the right bait, you can see how success comes right with it. It's brown. It's a brown? It's brown. Show us how it's done. Beautiful brown trout, and look at that. We're telling the truth, the chartreuse worm is still sitting in its mouth. And the worm's been crushed, obviously. Yep. Beautiful little brownie, you know? We're gonna get him back and show you how to catch another one. Well guys, we just switched back over to using natural deluxe salmon eggs. Uh, we got a nice deep run out here, and I'm just congregating, you know, right in the middle to bottom section of it. You know, kind of in that slack, slower water where it's still got good depth to it, and that's usually where those trout congregate, so. Watch how quick this is. One 1,000. Two 1,000. Two 1,000. Three! Oh, didn't even get to three. <laughs> a little guy, but... Another rain... Oh, uh, that could be a brookie. Is that a rainbow or a brookie? Oh, well, One of the great things about the Chaga River here is... Oh, I didn't even get time to talk and we got another one on. We got him. A little bit better. A little 10 incher. Perfect for the frying pan or perfect to release to come back to see you next year. See you later, buddy. Later, dude. Guys, we're using two different baits today. We're getting bit, we're getting bit almost every cast. We're using natural deluxe and pink shrimp salmon eggs. We're also using some worms that we fire dyed. Now you don't want to use too much. You just want enough so you know they're just just covered in them. You don't want to submerge them where they can't breathe. Um, that'll kill them, but as long as you know you just add enough where they're just nice and nice layer on them is all you need. So we're just gonna leave them in there for about five minutes and uh, we'll check them and if they're good, we'll put them right back in the dirt. Wait till you see these chartreuse worms. They are sick. Oh my. Just burling chartreuse. They love them. I'm just gonna use a half one because just a little bit smaller presentation and there's no need to waste a whole one on these trout. I'm just gonna hook it right through the middle Voila. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> One of the great things about coming to the Chaga River is the accessibility of this system. Uh, as you can see, we've just walked. We parked in the parking lot at Cassidy Bridge and started walking downstream. And there's a very accessible foot trail that allows you to access the river. Uh, you don't need waders if you don't want to. You could simply come down here with a pair of shoes and find beautiful, large holes like these. All right, we're gonna do the cast and do the countdown. There's the cast. One 1,000. Two 1,000, I didn't even get to two. No way. <clears throat> and it's another feisty little scrappy rainbow. Not huge. Not huge, but it's a fish. But this is South Carolina, folks. We don't have huge rainbows here, but we got plenty of action. Take what we can get. So we switched positions a little bit. Come down. Oh, we got a fish on already. Got him. It's almost too easy. Boom! Dude, there's a lot of fish out there. <laughs> it's gotten to be silly. Um, we've been out here for about an hour and a half. And we've caught over two dozen fish. And mind you, this is the first time either one of us have ever been here. So what that shows you is, you come out here with the right bait, which today is pink shrimp, natural deluxe salmon eggs, and chartreuse and blue fire dye worms. Uh, you can have one heck of a day, even if you're a newbie. Another one, huh? Oh, that's not a bad one. Oh yeah. Looking like a rainbow? Yeah, it's not a bad one, you're jumping. Scrappy little guy. Scrappy. Nice rainbow. Whoa! Almost took a swim. Torpedo. Hey, this one's pretty though. He's entered the mud. Oh, okay. See you later, buddy. Nice one. We got a nice one on. Biggest fish of the day. 
Can we land it, folks? It's looking like a rainbow. Yep. Nice rainbow. Boy, they love those natural deluxe up here, huh? Oh yeah, that's a lot better one. A little bit better rainbow right here. We've been picking away at a lot of fish, but starting to get a few better ones. This one's, I don't know, 13, 14 inches or so. Beautiful fish. Pretty fish. We got another brookie about the same size, so we're getting a few nicer ones. A lot of action though, that's for sure. I got him. The brookie. Oh yeah. Step forward. Other way, other way. Yes. Nice brookie. Nice brookie. Beautiful brookie. This is a monster for South Carolina. <laughs> That's pretty. Wow. Cool. Nice hook jaw brook trout. Oh man, that's a pretty fish. Beautiful brookie here. This is the second nice brookie we've got. I don't know, this one's about 12 inches or so. Natural dogs, balls of fire underneath the float. If you saw that on the internet, somebody would say it was 18 inches. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're more realist. Nice hook jaw. Doesn't have his fall colors yet, but uh, we'll take him. Oh yeah. You got him. That's a nice rainbow, dude. Sight fishing? With a fire dime worm. Beautiful rainbow. Nice one. Picked up another nice rainbow on a chartreuse fire dyed worm. Getting that done today, they're liking that chartreuse worm. Thing sure looks awesome in the water. Nice fish, we're gonna get him going back. <laughs> 